Hey guys, how you doing? I'm just letting you guys know that if you get this video to 1100 likes, in next week's video, I'll be using a controller in one of these duo queue uh, videos, and Royal, which is a controller player, will be using MNK for his video. So get this video to 1100 likes, and that will happen in next week's video. Now, I also want to let you guys know that I'm structuring my duo and solo queue series a little bit different. I want to make it a little bit more educational. So basically, how it's going to be structured is it's going to be gameplay, and then at the end of the video, there's going to be a section where I'm going to go back and kind of just break down what I did wrong, what I did right, and just try to help you guys a little bit more and just educate you guys on the reasons why I did certain stuff. So if you guys enjoyed these videos, make sure that you like, sub, and comment, and let's get into the gameplay. Hi, Royal. I want to see you drop 20 this game, man. Yeah, for duck. Oh, yeah. For duck. Duck. Lol. Crazy how nice people are and talking about fucking It's because they're not trying to play the middle game, you know? Yeah, it's never in the middle. It's just always like. Bro, I had a little ass kid on my team when I was solo queuing, and like he knew it was me, he TK'd me, man. And he was like screaming and shit. Let's do it Are they just not going for main wall, man? So I'm guessing we have no barbed wire on red stairs. We definitely need. Oh, we don't. That's pain. Yeah, I know. Outside server window. This one lounge, one lounge right now. Okay, Royal, uh, Royal, you're not going to worry about that. Single. That's good. That's good luck. They have an Ash, an Ace, and a nothing. Sorry, Ash, Flores. Heard. On bed, sound call. Are, these, are they playing vertical from under? I just figured out a make. Oh. No, I shot. Nah, no, she's dead. In lounge, in lounge. Nah, I should shot her. I should have killed her. That's crazy. What is my oh, Jaeger doing? They got case. Oh, uh, Jaeger's in bottom garage watching the lounge. He's, he's going up uh, Brackers now. He's on our one. Op 4 has located. One Ash. manager now, Ash. Yeah. You got, yeah, you got the camera, you got it. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm taking them in this. I got them. Going up red, going up red, going up red. Oh, oh my god, I'm going red, Ash. Ash. Fifteen seconds left. Ten seconds left. Bro, you smoked that Yeah, I smoked that Flores. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna hold there. I'm blue right now. Alright. too late to get uh, uh, any. I'm making rotating dummies. Okay. Oh. Got very fucking tight rotating. Oh, I just saw his feet, bro. I leaned. Is he putting a hard reach device on it? Yo, bro, get the fuck out of here. They got door open, by the way. Deploying the I need to reload. Okay, Jerome, that made nice. Let's go, Let's go. Legion, if you can get a better better situation to play with Royal. There's a been That's Jackal? What the hell was it? Why would you track me? Is is Heard. I think it's a and it's over. Flores is late. Get total right now. Not a chance I got pistol with. Oh my god. He's like 10 health. Not 20 health. Pistol whip, bro. Did you? Yeah, I got pistol whip on floors, man. Actually, down terrible. Wait, where are you from? I'm from the front Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm by like Toronto. Yeah, I'm by 16. Okay, maybe like 18 hours away from the 
Yeah, we're gonna meet up and hug. Yo, I'll right. say if you meet me halfway, we'll go to come back, bro. I can oh. see you. Oh. Oh. That one out there. Perimeter defense active. But I, 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 actually, no, 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 you're right. I, I've seen people do this. It's because of the window. Yeah. That's it's a cutoff, cut yeah. Cut I've seen both done. We didn't reinforce single. Fuck. I, 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 I'm not even gonna lie, I was such a bad teammate this round. You're also gonna have to put a line here, Royal. Yeah, I got you. I'm droning out cash. Fuck, man. I'm gonna drop log logistics. Ca uh, server. Be advised, op four How's it going in bomb. server? I'm trying to watch your swing with my. They drill me out. You, you can fall back. I'll just, I'll just okay. Sophia dead. Flores is lit. Flores is 25 HP. One lodger, one lodger, yeah. Fuck, man. Guy yeah, keeps throwing fucking drones at me. It's gonna be, he's gonna be con. I oh, bomb and laundry. Well, oh, well yeah, on the gym right Bomb is down in laundry. Floor is a 20 HP in con. I only have main stairs, Cam. You're on your own. Bandit's on main stairs, top main right now. He's watching con walk in. There's a rotation in lodgy, by the way, Sonny. And bomb is down in the lodgy. No, that's so tough. In lodgy behind you. Bomb's down. That's bomb. You should be fun. No way, I got shit smoke, bro. Bro, Bandit, Bandit pushed like up way too much, man. Like, and he wasn't like listening to my intel. He was more focused on that guy in Con, or I mean the Capital. Can okay, you guys go under and get the stuff off? Moral? Magic, magic play is good as well to show like um. Yeah. You don't Velk through a Velk. Uh, I don't have a Claymore. That's gonna suck. Did you? Is he on the wall or no? No. No? Alright. Bro, bro, get off your cam. I'm getting wall. They have a shield on the... Uh, cubby. R1, rogue. I, I said rogue again. Uh, Velk. Velk was R1 in garage. I'm on a cam. She's still garage, bro. I'm trying, I'm trying to take garage right now. Yeah, she's still R1, oh bro. Mag. Might be R2 now. Yeah, she's R2. What the fuck is... Thank you, man. My, my bro. Box, bro. One then, like, bottom box, box one. I just couldn't shoot his legs, man. I'm just so ass. Nobody's on Cubby's shield. There's one in garage, but I don't know where he is in garage. Dude, I'm... Mm. There has to be a Velk cam up in here. I can't get my fucking yo, 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 if one of you guys can rotate to garage of Royal and you guys can take garage, I can actually get a plant. Top right right now, times two. Yo, can someone get you? I can't get my drone downstairs because my Twitch truck can't jump. I don't know if he, where he is in garage. Oh my god! He was garage door. Nice. 
He's one health. Literally one health. Not even a joke. Don't be afraid to take a gun fight. He's dead. He's one shot. Bomb has been located. Claymore's still there. Oh, okay. Unless he destroyed it. Unless he destroyed it. I don't think he did, but... I, I'm gonna have to make a play. I'm not gonna lie. God, man, on the fucking Goyo shield, man. Like, why, why like, ah, uh, bro. That, 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 is, that is just so annoying, man. Like, why are they pushing Khan? It, it's just so, it's so unbelievable, unbelievably unnecessary. Like, they have no holes in the wall, man. And nobody wants to bro. rotate with you. I was trying to get my twist drone into garage to figure out where this fucking Jaeger was, and I could not. I couldn't get it over the hump of the of like the top rafter to rotate. And I couldn't get over the wall. Like I drew it Ooh. out of the wall and it wouldn't get off the concrete. So I was like screw. And, and I got off my drone and he was looking at me trying to shoot my claymore. I was like, yeah, nice. dude, no. Like I, I I kept shooting Velk in the feet. I just I just couldn't hit my shots. <laughs> uh, um, if you want to push dirt with me, we we can just make a dirt push. We can go. Uh, can you pick yeah, a bomb, then. Habana? We're gonna. Me and Royal's gonna take dirt. Um. Yeah, one more team. Right. I'm gonna quickly just briefly drone. Royal, actually, you wanna do me a favor? Yeah, get on my drone right now. They barricaded this shit up. Actually, you don't need to get on it. Right. Here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna push up. I'm gonna try to use my drone so I can get a just free frag, and we should be able to just get a, a mana vanish and take dirt. I think they already got hatch. Okay, just all walk. Okay, there's an ADS on box three. There's a mirror on dummies right now, Royal. Two long haul right now. One, one, one's bottom main. Le Legion's on, uh... Yo, uh, mirror's on dummies? No, I'm trying to get the mirror off it. Oh my god. Oh. They got double killed, man? Still on dummies, and then one, one's long haul. Royal, I'm about to, I'm about to run in. One's blue. I ran in. Legion's dead. Mirror's still. Oh, uh, uh, Ashwall, Ashwall, bottom main. Oh my god! Bottom main, bottom main, right side, right side. He went back up the stairs, and then uh, other one's church. Other one's on hatch and then one's church. Blue rotate, blue behind you, behind you, Hobana. Push swinging door, left side. Pushed in, pushed in. He's on dummy's box. He's swinging wide. He's good. Box two, box two. Good try. Okay, nah, that's actually my fault. Bro, someone said someone was in blue. So I was like, oh shit. Yeah, shoot, I did. Let me, let me watch it. Like, like earlier in the round, like like way earlier. Like that's why like when that I was trying to cover the guy planting. I didn't realize my head was exposed to church. I thought it was more behind the bomb. No, you're you're fine, man. Like I heard the C4 go off behind me, but I was so focused on the mirror. I like tunnel visioned, and I I needed to focus on the Valkyrie behind me. Um, we can probably just uh, like we like we can get really aggressive with these kids. Um, we just need to not hesitate because I kind of like I hesitated like focusing on that mirror. Yeah. Gave them man advantage. Or give them give them man, man equal equal advantage. I, I'm I'm confused why Hibana went from box one to um like under hatch with like because the the hatch was open. I don't know why she. I I think that she didn't think the hatch. I think that she um thought that she was in the back army locker side because he was like looking at the back army locker looking for the valve. Yeah. But I don't think he realized that it was above. We need to locate a bomb. Yeah, they didn't but trust my call out then. Yeah. Because the call out valve was on hatch. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah, like he could have just sat on the mirror realistically, like got aggressive with the Jaeger maybe and just held the bomb. My youngins hot, let's take it in. No fans. You have nuts on you, Royal. Sprinting man. I'm watching for the punch hole. Bro, I've not died to one of those punch holes over here in so long. Yeah, you're gonna I feel some type of way if you die to that man. Watch the dirt container punch hole. Yeah, oh, I always check this one. Yeah. I, I, I prefer this shit. You have located a bomb. God, man. You got the stuff off the wall. You have located a bomb. 
Watch the C4 from here. She might just uh, whip it out. I got, I got the angry idiot up there. On man. Bandit. I think Sunny is going uh, main. Yep, and there's a bandit on main. I'm gonna. I'm stunning the bandit out. Is that, is that bandit? Okay, there's a mirror on the bathroom wall. He's on the mirror. Bro, what are you tilt? You have claymore again. Never mind. Oh fuck! He swung. He swung. He swung breach. Bro, I should have expected that. Last one's cash. Just go for a plant. Yeah. Yeah. Zofia has a cross on him. Sledge is getting too aggressive. Like, I, I guess he's putting pressure on him. Good game. One, I'm gonna cry. Yeah, mine's a 2.4. I, I, I want this account to be my main account. Okay, so right away, I just want to briefly talk about, like, the bans. So, on Clubhouse, usually what happens is people ban Thatcher, and then they usually keep Maverick up on the board. Um, on the attacker side, I think it was very stupid for them to ban an operator like Maverick. It made their lives a lot difficult to attack when when you're picking bands you guys gonna have to decide and determine um how you're gonna attack it and how you're gonna defend it because you are going to have to attack at some point and this will really hinder you especially they started off attacking first so banning uh operator like maverick is so stupid in my opinion okay i just want to also i just want to quickly explain this as well uh when you're holding cash you're not going to want to uh, reinforce anything in construction that's a waste of a reinforcement i see a lot of players doing that so just don't reinforce construction uh what you're gonna have to reinforce is this one single wall and then you leave both of these like the left and right side uh soft you're gonna put an impact hole on the left side and then you're gonna put maybe a line right here so you can just throw stuff uh like a c4 or you know it's just giving you an opportunity if anything were to happen if they were to take cash you can maybe throw a c4 another thing i don't i see players doing a lot uh and it, and it was common for quite a while is people instead of making head holes here they make a rotation here the reason why you're not going to want to make a rotation here is of course if they take garage and rafters and they're trying to execute a plant you're making their life very easy and they can just walk through this rotation and get a plant down instead of flooding the window or using utility on the soft wall that's the reason why and it gives the person in rafters you know uh, a lot of room to just peek head level and he can maybe even crouch below it you reinforce the wall beside it now the reason i popped this hatch is more for rotate ability because if my teammates were to be getting pinched in sight or if somebody's down in lounge now they can just come in construction drop the hatch try to get a flank and it's just giving um the possibility of getting a flank if needed so just always think about that when you know popping certain hatches you know your teammates can now rotate okay when you watch this part of the the game when i faced off the single wall when the gridlock was trying to open the single wall um I wouldn't really suggest just face stuffing stuff as smoke. This is a, one of those situations where I can get away with it because Grillock is just shooting her shotgun at a wall. I understand that she has a lot of uh, distance from the wall and that's why it's not creating a, a complete circle and she can't just vault through it. So I knew when I peeked this single that I was able to face stuff it because if you look at the way this hole is, you know that Gridlock has three bullets in her shotgun. She just shot all three and now I can face stuff and using sound intel, I can try to determine where her head is and then I just rely on my aim there. Luckily, I did smoke her. But like I said, as smoke, you have to be very aware and pick your gunfights because if you die, that's a lot of utility and denial wasted. Now, to be honest, something you don't see a lot on cash takes for attackers is them playing vertical play. It, it allows a lot of pressure, and to be honest, it's smart in certain scenarios. So if I were you, uh, try to learn the map from un beneath, because like this Ash really didn't know like a common spot. Like for example, where I'm sitting be behind bomb, this is very common. She could have just wall banged me if she understood the map. When it comes down to smoke grenades, what usually happens is people waste their smoke grenades too premature. 
but I'm watching a lot of angles because I know we don't have any utility on red. Royal's about to die. And I'm just trying to pressure this Flores to flood my Condor instead of coming uh, highway window because I wasn't too sure where he was at. I know he was around Master slash Con, so that's why I started dumping smokes on cash uh, window. Something I don't see players do enough is asking where their teammates are when they're in a 2v2 scenario or whatever type of scenario when it's just them and, you know, a few others. Because I'm trying to understand what my Jaeger is doing so I can kind of play off him or I can try to guide him to what he's watching. Uh, in garage watching lounge. Jaeger put himself in a very bad predicament going bottom lounge because he does know bomb is downstairs and he's trying to get a refrag on Ash. But what he's doing there is he's singling out and giving Ash her ones. So if Ash were to frag him off, I'm stuck in sight in a 2v1. I understand bomb is below, but we already had one man die before. I would have rotated down to where bomb was, but I wasn't too sure where the last two enemies were and there was no intel. So there was really no point. Once again, I hear Ash like rotating red side. So I'm just trying to pressure her off with the smoke grenades. So I don't get pinched from, uh, you know, the, the Flores and the Ash. I'm trying to just take my ones. I saw him drone and I shot it immediately. I wasn't too sure like the drone there that I just shot. It kind of gave me a general direction of where Flores was going to come from, which was con and I heard him stomping. That Flores shot was very lucky. Okay, going to the next round, uh, the only thing that I would say is an issue with our lineup is not bringing an intel-based operator like probably a Valkyrie or like a Maestro, some type of, you know, actual denial. Because we do have, uh, I think, one C4. That's another gap in our defense. Besides that, like, this lineup is fine. I maybe would swap out a Wamai for like a Maestro or a Valkyrie, like I said. Just so we get some type of intel if the person's dead. But when you're holding dirt, which you should always be holding dirt on Clubhouse downstairs, I suggest watching this drone hole because you can get the person's feet, you can light them up, any HP matters, and you can even shoot some drones in the in the time being. Something I didn't do here, which I realize now, is I didn't I, I don't think I called out how many drones I shot, which is something that you should start doing. Every time I shoot a drone though, you'll notice I'll reposition myself either a little closer or in a random spot. Just so he can't just pre-fire me. I kind of did hold a little bit more aggressive angle because I heard him start running. And I just pre-fired and I ended up not landing any shots at first. As soon as I know, knew I was putting myself in a bad predicament, I pushed back and he, for some reason, capital bolt me. When I re-swung, I just pre-fired. Pre-firing will help you get easy kills just like this. That's capital. That wasn't really a pre-fire, actually. I just shot and reacted it, so. But yeah, start pre-firing. I should have pre-fired there. Do we have main service camera? No. Yeah, I'm on it. If you, if you have teammates dead, also try to just communicate with them, ask them what cams they have, if they are willing to communicate. I got very lucky in this game. Uh, people wanted to communicate. Legion, if you can get a better, better situation to play with Royal, So basically there, I was trying to ask Legion to put himself in a better predicament and a better uh, refrag value for Royal because Royal was kind of alone in like church, I believe. And as soon as I said that, Jackal for some reason scanned my feet. If you use Jackal's scanner, you can tell just by the color. There's a color chart. I'll probably put it on screen. It'll tell you the last few seconds of where these footsteps came from. And as you can tell, Jackal has four of these like little scan like feet. So I'm very close. I wouldn't have known that he was behind me. I thought I was hearing like hatch. And I ended up just pre-firing him because I knew how close he was. That's your uncle? What the hell was it? Why would you track me? And as you can tell right here, Royal is pushed up into church. That's a bad era. Royal is pushed up into church here. And then my lesion is right here on AKs. The reason why I was trying to get him to play a little, like once again, more aggressive is because I wanted him to get a refrag on Royal. That's what you need to be thinking about when you're in these scenarios. Refrag value. Because that's what the attackers will be doing. They'll be bunched up or they'll be holding crosses. And I was worrying about the guy on hatch. Legion was able to rotate. I was not because if the guy was on hatch, I was going to swing out and he would have probably downed me and killed me. 
Also, I'm getting like a lot of callouts, so I'm acting off Intel. This is what you need to be doing when you get Intel. I, I knew Ro Royal was stuck there alone. As you can tell, he's downed and they're, they're Z pinging where the people are. So I may be able to wall bang and shoot the door. I think I ended up missing the shots and hitting the door frame, but I was just pre-firing and trying to put pressure on them to make them think that I was just going to sit on this wall, which is usually called Ash Wall. And then my Legion would be able to kind of play off of me shooting and try to deny the plant because now they're about to have sight. As you can tell, Legion's pushing more aggressively up in blue, and it's basically a 2v1 in this scenario if the attacker is planning, because he has to get the bomb down. I got the call out Zoe was down, so I knew I didn't need to get very aggressive and watch Moto Door because Legion's watching it. So I try to swing into long hallway. So I don't get like sprinted at because like if he came long hallway in this scenario, he would have clipped me and then probably clipped Legion because he's on the rotate watching Moto Door. Did you? Flores bait it in that scenario. Like I said, if I'm Flores and I know my Zofia's down, I'm either having to put a gun up in Moto and shooting or I'm going long haul and putting my gun up and killing me. And trying to engage because you just need to go for frags instead he baited it and uh saved his kd one thing i do want to talk about is the ads placement here um i i wouldn't suggest placing it this close to one my disc because uh right here as you can see there's a one my disc and then right below it is the one my disc i placed a bad ads putting it in the middle here what happens is if they throw a grenade or the stun grenade it burns and then they throw an, a grenade and it catches right here it's going to destroy um my ads here and it's probably going to destroy the one my so uh bad ads placement for me also you need you need a line in um you need a line in logi here like because what happened was they took logi on their own and when you put a line there it's kind of pressuring them into forcing into very awkward gunfights because they drop what's going to happen is like for example me jaeger I can peek that, shoot his feet, even like shoot his body, and then somebody can push from the single logistics uh, door and just pressure him. And then, you know, it's very, very hard to get out of that scenario. But since we didn't have it, Ace was able to drop. Now, this round, I also tried my hardest to hold, you know, stock door. I didn't call out the drones once again. It's a mistake I did of how many I shot. But I kept shooting drones and I was waiting for, you know, my Wumai here or uh, whoever was playing in here to get swung and I would be able to get a refrag. He got fragged off and I wasn't able to get the refrag so I pushed back a lot, um, you know, sooner. Okay, so something I don't see people enough doing is just repositioning themselves. In this scenario, I get a Flores drone thrown at me. Uh, I run away. I should have kept my gun up watching the, the construction door because somebody could have pushed behind it and probably fragged me out. So it's a mistake I made there. But as you can tell, I'm ADSing and I'm waiting for him to swing the door. And then I go back in the same position because he's not going to expect me to push back up. I, I try to read how he was playing and they're playing very passive. But here, I think I hear somebody going highway window. And I also hear a drone and I shoot it. So I rotate off of this angle. Because right here, I hear somebody drop out. So I, instead of proning and staying in this area, I can get shot from the window. So I just rotate off this. Uh, also... Another thing that happened here was Ace was acing the mirror, right? So I took a chance instead of allowing them to get all these angles because I'm in a very bad position here. I'm in the middle of a bedroom. Uh, they can peek highway. They can swing me from con. And even though I do have mirror on her mirror here, I'm in a bad scenario. So what I do is I use the sound that this Ace charge is making to literally run at him. But I keep my gun up and I know I'm going to get this frag. Even if he's watching it, then whatever. But like, I need to do something in this scenario because I have literally nowhere to sit where I'm going to be in, um, where I'm going to be in the right. You know, you, you want to put yourself in a position where you're more likely to win the gunfight than the enemy is. And I think what happens here was when I, when I walked through the doorway, I think Ace went and checked construction because he thought I was going to swing him from there. See, if, if you look where his gun is in this scenario, he's aiming into the breach. 
and I tucked in the corner and I had some patience instead of swinging him and running at him. I had some patience here and uh, he immediately thought that somebody was going to be in the breach or he's checking the breach, which I'm not. I'm, I'm tucked in a random corner. And I and then I have bomb. Something I did wrong here was overextending myself. I overextended because I thought I was going to be able to put, position myself behind the desk here and maybe just hold down the bomb because I'm, you know, I have the bomb right here. Which I'm checking for construction window. I'm checking for the normal corner on the hatch. And uh, I guess he saw me when he was in cash door. And he's pre-firing. He pre-fires the hell to me and I and I and I swing into his pre-fire. If I were to if I were in this position again, I should have I should have laid down when I first initially heard the gunshots. And I should have got bandit to come from main stairs and hold a cross so he can get a refrag. Now, Royal's in a bad predicament here. He's on the uh, uh, the bench press behind it. Like, in like he's in a good... He's in a good position where he can't get shot unless he stands up. But the Capital knows on the window that he's on this gym set. So, he's stuck basically baiting. And we have 20 seconds left, which is fine because Bomb is down in laundry. And he's only going to have to try to take a gunfight if the guy jumps in the window. Unless he rotates, which you would hear him. So, he's not in the worst predicament. But it's the point that they're in a 2v2 and Bandit is stuck on top main. Bandit's on main stairs, top main right now. He's watching Khan walk in. Once again, I'm communicating with my, my mirror, which is the Royal. What our Bandit is doing and what he's holding so he doesn't double up. And watch the same thing and then they're able to you know you know have a gap in their defense there's a rotation in logi by the way sunny and bomb is down in the logi okay now i'm not gonna lie this bandit he was he was kind of lost he was so dead sent on watching this construction uh walk in but like i i kept telling him bomb is down in logi and that you know they you know bomb is down you don't need to you know, worry about anything but this bomb being down because they either have to pick on attacking that they're either going to have to go for the two frags or they're going to have to grab the bomb and try to get a plant down. Now, his crosshair placement's a little low here. Uh, he's aiming, I think, chest level. And honestly, he's he's crouching in a very weird predicament, but he has six seconds. So even though his positioning is a little off, you know, Flores only has six seconds to run in and get a plant or run in, kill Bandit, and then try to kill Mirror. Which is getting held by Capital. And, you know, he, he gets the frag Bombs and he has bomb. That's bomb. But this is the huge issue with this predicament. Instead of running away and playing bomb or just running down the staircase, he swings into the Capital. Even though there is one second left. He put himself in a predicament to get refragged and killed. Which, as you can tell, if Capital was uh, like a second sooner to kill Mira, he probably would have killed Bandit. So just try to, when you get a bomb down, position yourself to not get killed. And especially when there's like three seconds left and the bomb is that far away, just run, run away, man. Now, something you should be in the habit of doing uh, is... Maybe pre-firing common angles, uh, like, because I know Cubby is a common angle. And if you don't know what Cubby is, it's um, where that shield was, you know, that little tucked corner. So I'm so used to people standing, like, right here, and I pre-fire them. And, or if they're, they're about to run out the breach, I'll, you know, get the jump on them. They have a shield on the... Now, this kind of caught me off guard. I'm not used to this not being reinforced, and then they have a whole ass rotate. We, in, in, in this round, we should have took Garage... But we weren't able to because of our three other teammates pushing construction side. And, you know, they had main advantage like in the first minute. Copy. R1, rogue. I, I said rogue again. <laughs> the fuck is. Okay, now, now Royal, Royal was so smart for pushing on the single door. Uh, I kept calling out that she was R1, which is Rafters 1. Um. But I, I kept shooting her legs and then potatoing at the end because I was so confused on what the hell was happening. But him pressuring there was smart. Walk. Now, something players need to stop doing when they're defending is don't be afraid to hold dirt on clubhouse. Because what tends to happen is, you know, you give up so much positioning 
away because now i have dirt as an attacker and you barricade it up there's no utility there's nothing to destroy there's nothing to contest me besides you know maybe if you're back dummies or if you're back arsenal but this is like cutting off so much line of sight that now you have to watch if you're if you're in blue or if you're in dummies boxes now you can't hold a, a box two that's like right here so players just need to tend to now like people people need to uh, hold dirt because what happens now is like i have so much positioning okay there's an ads on box three there's a mirror on dummies right now i i messed up that call up by the way that's box one that's not box three box three is dummies right here so i made a big mistake here well i saw that royal was about to tw bring his twitch drone in so i was gonna try to if he popped the mirror i knew that she was gonna either swing left and try to go rotate into blue or you know she she has to rotate you know right side so i try to take my chances here and pre-fire it was a bad pre-fire as well look I'm shooting box two, and I try to readjust. So, if she would have went blue, I would have been able to reposition and kill her. Oh, I'm trying to get the mirror. But okay, so I realized right here that I have to make some type of like hero play because our two players just got double killed on main staircase. So what I try to do here is I try to mask the sound on the barricade breaking with just using the ace charge, and as soon as it explodes, there's gonna be like a little bit of debris in the air. So I try to run in and run right. See, this works. And I end up shooting her in the thigh and she swings left. So immediately, I think that lesion that was in blue or somebody is going to be in church holding my cross because they got a call out that I ran in. So I keep my gun up and I get an easy headshot because he's looking and not seeing anybody. Lesion's dead. But here's where I mess up. I hear the explosion behind me. But I'm so tunnel visioned on this mirror. If I just did a 180, I could have smoked Valkyrie. And I didn't even realize that Mirror's dead right here. Like, I didn't realize that she was dead. Did Royal call it out? Yeah. Mirror's still... He called Mirror as soon as I died. Yeah. So it wasn't his fault. It was my fault for not acting off the sound. Because the Valkyrie opened up Ashwall and, you know, got an easy frag on me. Okay, if you see right here, immediately you spawn in. Royal's just sprinting. The reason why you're not going to want to do that is because of this. I checked that soft wall. There usually might be a bullet hole or punch hole there. And then I checked the strip, like closet, whatever this is called, a uh, door. And he he just he just sprints. If he would have died from here, he would have been molding. So just keep your gun up when you spawn in. Now, I drone Miro out here. She shoots my drone and I come up and I see that we have man advantage and that we're in a 5v2. Something I did very wrong right here was not keeping my gun up. I droned Mira, and Mira is probably spooked. I, I I don't know why I expected her to just stay there on the Mira, especially since we have intel on her. She is literally rotating off of us knowing that we have intel on her. So I, I needed to keep my gun up. My thought process was like, hey, she's going to be on Mira, and then I'm just going to run uh like short or like, you know, main stair side and then try to get a plant. But... She played this very smart. Right, you, tell, you have Claymore again, never mind. And she swung outside the breach because she knew that she didn't have man advantage and that she needed to start picking up frags, and that's what you need to do. Even though, like, Sunny was on main, and then, you know, Twitch was right behind me, like, there was going to be refrags. It was so stupid, though. I shouldn't have done this. Yeah. Oh, fuck, he swung. He swung. He swung breach. Wow, now, at first, I was like, what is what is uh, Sludge doing? But, like, they, they're they they're giving each other intel in a Discord call. They're they're playing together. And Sophia has this guy tucked in the corner. That's why Sludge came through and was pre-firing the guy in the corner here. Um, at first, I was like, this is a little stupid. They're, they're going to throw bodies at him. But, no, this is a very good cross. They, they did a very good job of holding this guy back. Sludge is getting too aggressive. Like, I, I guess he's putting... See? Like, he this this guy was just waiting for the Sophia. Pressure on him. So yeah, they, they they held a very good cross there and uh, they got the frag. Like if the mute would have swung out for Zofia, would have killed him. If the mute would have swung out for Twitch, Zofia would have killed him. Perfect cross. Now, if you guys enjoyed the video and you made it this far, comment the number six and with a heart. I appreciate you guys for watching the full entire video and I just appreciate you watching my videos just in general. So I just want to say big thank you to you guys and one love for watching the video.